This is John Miller, and I am coming to you live from Science Museum, Oklahoma. It's the day of the Tinkerfest, September 28th, 2018. We're here at the Science Museum in northeastern Oklahoma City, right across the, the, the world from, from the uh, Remington Park. Do you know what Tinkerfest is? Well, prior to about five weeks ago, I had never heard of Tinkerfest myself. So how did I end up coming here? Well, five weeks ago, I was at Maker Fair Tulsa showing off my robotic xylophone, my Build Your Music project. Really good event, lots of people coming through. And the, uh, the lots, of, and, and it was, it was just, uh, just kind of fun to see see so many different people. A lot of kids coming through, uh, just wanting to see the robotic xylophone play. Uh, you know, then of course we got a few adult hobbyists who really want to know the ins and outs and, and how the uh, you know how the xylophone works on on the inside. Well, so so while I was there by at the Maker Fair Tulsa, I was approached by a lady. Uh, who introduced herself as Sherry, and she said she was from Science Museum, Oklahoma, in Oklahoma City. And she asked me, would I ever consider uh, showing my stuff at Tinkerfest? Well, I asked, well, what's Tinkerfest? And she told me it's a really big event, uh, twice the size of the Maker Fair. She said there were, uh, you know, there could be up to seven to 8,000 people here, no cost for exhibitors, free lunch, free dinner afterwards. Uh, just being in Ardmore, it would be a much uh, shorter drive for me than Tulsa. And uh, September 29th. So I listened to her. I, I thought about it. I, I, I wasn't quite sure if it would work with my schedule. But she says, oh, well, I'll send some other people from the, the museum uh, your way. So a short time later, another guy from the museum, Chris, and, and I think Wayne, too, came. And they were uh, also telling me about Tinkerfest. I say to them, yeah, I just, there was just someone else from the museum named Sherry who came. And Chris says, yeah, Sherry, yeah, she is our president. I say, really? She's the president of the Science Museum? He says, yeah, she doesn't brag about it, but yeah, she's the run, one who runs the, the whole show. So again, I, you know, I showed him off my project, the, you know, the robotic xylophone and all the, all the parts inside that cause it to play. So, and he gave me a card, says, hey, you know, go online, apply, uh, you know, if, if you can make it, apply to be, be a guest tinkerer. Don't worry about the deadline, because if you really want to get in, we will make sure that you have a, have a way to get in. And uh, you know, it'll come straight to me. Uh, just, just get your name in so we know kind of how many tables to set up for. Saturday, September 29th. Well, I tell him, yeah, I'll have to kind of consider it. It might depend on my work schedule, but I'd, I'd really like to go. And, and so you know, Chris leaves saying, yeah, yeah, well, really, really hope you can make it. All right, so you know, I've mentioned my work schedule a couple of times. Uh, now, now, most of the time, I don't have to work on Saturdays. But right now, the refinery that I'm in is in turnaround. And so turnaround is something that they do once every few years where they shut down all of the process equipment, they drain out everything, and uh, they, they have to do it to do like catalyst changes and other major mechanical work. And, and so during turnaround, they have, you know, work has to go on 24 seven. And so they ask people to work a lot of extra days and hours just just so stuff can get in and and so I'm on what's called the fatigue schedule which means you work for almost two weeks straight 12 or 13 days at a time you get one day off your fatigue day and then you go back on for another 12 or 13 days well so back during the maker fair I knew that at the time I was scheduled to be working on September 29th but I, I also know that my my manager had had been, uh, uh, you know, had told us that the fatigue schedule could, our fatigue days could be uh, a little bit flexible. And so I went in and I talked with my manager and, and he, he said that I would be able to shift my schedule so that my fatigue day, my day off would be September 29th. So 
Uh, yesterday was my 12th day in a row working. I'm here uh, on my day off. I'm here at Tinker Fair. Instead of being at home resting or with the family, I, I'm here at Tinker Fair exhibiting my, my stuff. And I will, uh, and then tomorrow I go back to work again for maybe another 12 or 13 days. So I'm here look, looking forward to a good day. So what am I planning to show here at, at the Tinker Fest? Well, I'm going to show a lot of the same things I had at the Maker Fair. I'll show the robotic xylophone itself, and I will also show the, uh, you know, I've got the computer uh, showing the website where people can see that there's instructions so that they themselves can build a xylophone like this. But I've got a new activity too for the Tinker Fest, and I've got it a hands-on, what I call the Arduino Music Lab. And so back when I was at Maker Faire several weeks back, I had a few extra Arduinos out here. And you know, this is this guy right here is a simple Arduino Uno. I had them just setting out here so that I could show people, well, what's the little tiny computer inside that makes the or makes the xylophone work. And on more than one occasion, there'd be a little kid who'd want to come up and he'd want to grab and touch this. And the kid's mom would say, no, no, don't touch. And then I have to say, no, it's okay for them to touch here. You know, we want the kids to, to learn about this stuff. But that got me thinking that I, I really wanted to be a little bit more intentional and, and really try to, you know, purposely put an activity in front of kids to give them the opportunity to put their hands on uh, these electronic components to uh, put stuff together themselves and to see that you know they themselves you know with something they can build can can play music and so i came up with this arduino music lab and so the gist of the lab and i'll, I'll show you around here in a little bit but the gist of the lab is that kids will have a uh, an arduino uno and then they'll have an uh, LCD, uh, a, 20, a little bit smaller LCD, 16 by 2, and uh, a rotary encoder like this with, with, with jumper wires. And, and so the kids will assemble them together. I've, I've got instructions showing exactly how stuff is assembled. Uh, the Arduino is already pre-programmed. So they'll assemble the parts. They'll see a screen that says to select a song. And then they will need to plug it into another xylophone assembly. It's it's a much smaller assembly, uh, just an eight-note diatonic xylophone that plays some much simpler songs. Uh, you know, a few little kid songs like oh, "Itsy Bitsy Spider" or "Old MacDonald." I even figured out that uh, the spring theme from Vivaldi's Four Seasons is a song that can be played on the eight-note diatonic xylophone, so, so that's in there. So anyway, we'll see. This is my first time trying out this, uh, this hands-on Arduino lab, and we'll see how it goes. Well, overall, I, I am looking forward to the Tinkerfest today. It's, it's going on uh, today, Saturday, September 28th. 2018. It's from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. Uh, and again, the whole museum is open to the public for free. No, normally, you've got to pay money to come in, but, but today, the whole museum is free. Uh, so you can come in, you can see my project, Build Your Music. There's, uh, according to the uh, Science Museum website, there's over 40 other guest tinkerers, over 65 other special activities. And in fact, here, just, just reading off a few of the other activities, they've got uh, 3D printing, bicycle making, candle making, carpentry, driving robots, Lego sumo, light painting, Morse code bracelets, music production, pancake art, pinhole cameras, power tool pumpkin carving, theremins, resin, resin casting, rocket launching, rope making, Rube Goldberg machine, snap circuits, shadow play, soldering, violin making, weaving, wind energy. I, 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 I wish I'd be able to see all these activities myself here, but, but I imagine I'll be uh, at, at my, my booth most of the day. So, so anyway, what I'm saying is, is, is if you are in the Oklahoma City area, I would encourage you to uh, come on down here to the Tinker Fair. Tinkerfest, 
and uh, and and uh, even if you're in with within driving distance of, of Oklahoma City, even even as far away as where I live in Ardmore, uh, I'd encourage you to come on out here and uh, and take part in the day's activities. Again, every everything is completely free, so you've got nothing to lose. All right. Well, in just a minute, I'm going to close out here, but I'm going to switch to my uh, my other camera, my phone camera, and then I want to uh, give every give everyone a, a tour of, of this this exhibit here. Appreciate everyone tuning in. Remember, as always, remember my website uh, www.buildmusic.net. Free instructions, tutorials, and everything you need to build. And uh, if you haven't done so yet, uh, it's, go see my Facebook page, facebook.com slash buildyourmusic. Like the Facebook page. In fact, we've got now over 110 likes up to this page here coming into the Tinkerfest. All right. I will let you go for now, but stay tuned in just a minute with my other camera. I want to uh, show you around the, uh, the, the booth here for the Tinkerfest.